Hello and happy Sunday. Peace and blessings to you. This is Giovanna, the Spiritual Love Healer, founder of the Spiritual Love Sanctuary. And I'm going to do a Spiritual Love forecast just to kind of look at the overall energy for the month ahead. Um, excuse me, for the week ahead. I've been working on the monthly readings for the Zodiac signs. I'm going to try and get three more of those done today. And I'm getting them uploaded on my YouTube channel, um, Spiritual Love Sanctuary, so that you can check those out as well. So let's see what energy is coming up. So we've got the fifth chakra represented by Archangel Gabriel. This is all about communication and self-expression. Um, and when this card comes up, I always ask, like, are you being authentic to yourself? And how is it that you want to show up this week? How do you want to show up? And is there something that you need to say that you're holding back? Um, a lot of times we bite our tongues or we just don't express what we're truly feeling and when this card shows up i always feel like it's it's okay for you to express yourself it's okay for you to be who you are and sometimes that does take strength sometimes that does take strength so we've got the angel of strength here coming out with the fifth chakra so maybe you need to have a conversation with someone or you need to be real with yourself even um, and just be honest about where you are, what it is that you want, where it is that you want to be, what is it that you're trying to do or create in your life this week and make that happen. Realize that, you know, saying hard things do not always have to be harsh. Um, honesty is always the best policy and we can definitely tap in to this lion energy, but we can also be very gentle with it. So that doesn't mean we have to like you know, go off on somebody to get our point across. Sometimes um, we can serve things with a little bit of honey or sugar, not to tone down the message, but to deliver it in a way where it will be readily received. So just be mindful of how you're communicating this week, um, who you are showing up as, and the type of news, the type of energy that you're bringing to you. But it seems like you know you need. There's I'm looking at the this cloud over his head, and so it might be that you're not sure or you're confused about something something that you know either you need to do or a message that you need to that you've received even and so to get clarity around that with this halo that's always to me is like um spiritual guidance spiritual protection spiritual knowledge so definitely spend some time thinking about this message and what that might mean for you meditating and journaling are two of my favorite activities when I am feeling confused or scattered and just need to get some clarity around things. So that might be very helpful for you also. And let's just throw in a message from the angels to kind of close things out. Creative project. So I think that's very beautiful because the fifth chakra, in addition to being our throat chakra, it's how we express ourselves, which also can be creative expression, speaking, singing, um, how we're really truly showing up in the world. And so this is showing that, you know, there's something within you that your soul is longing to express. So this might mean you're diving into a new hobby or some kind of way that's allowing you to really express who you are. Um, and I think that's very beautiful because it makes you feel good. And we definitely need that right now. So if there's something that you've been very passionate about um, that's maybe within the arts or something creative, and it doesn't have to be anything huge. It could be maybe you just start singing in the shower or you start you know, dancing, um, writing letters to people that you care about, creating greeting cards, painting for fun, just some way that you're expressing yourself because if you continue to hold things in, that's not healthy. And maybe there's a challenging situation that you've been dealing with, so you do need the strength to express whatever that is. Um, so finding creative ways to do that. Coloring is another activity that is a lot of fun that I recommend because it is therapeutic. It allows your mind to kind of just stop the thinking for a little while and can bring peace. And then as you're coloring and you start to get all of these amazing insights coming in. So that's something else. So find a way to express yourself creatively this week, um, especially if there's a situation that you've been mulling over 
that might help bring some clarity into your life this week. So I hope that this message has resonated with you. You can find me over at spirituallovesanctuary.com and I will see you next week. Peace.